Wow, look at them doing the whole back-to-back -back thing like last time. So, yeah. Um, this is where we start. Act 2. With them in their in the, uh, the world of the other person. And I think that's pretty neat. Uh, they even have, like, the little perspective flip with, uh... Shay being on the left now and Vela being on the right. Um, I'm curious to see how this goes. Yeah, I kind of already knew that this was how the first act ended because, like I said, I played this game when it first came out. But um, I complete I when I played it, Act Two hadn't come out yet, and then I it came out and it was I downloaded it, or I got put it in my Steam, I should say, never played it. So I do not know what happens here. I do know that the Act Two is supposed to be a little longer. Also, it's fun looking back at my footage and seeing, like, oh, yeah, there's definitely... Depending on which person you play as first, the reveals are really interesting. Because um, if you play through all of Shay's first like I did, you kind of understand that Mog Chothra is Shay's ship. And this all this stuff, and, like, that's what the extraction point is. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the fox, though. I think his name is, like, Mordecai? Maybe that's... Maybe, uh, or Merrick, or something like that. But anyway... So I think I have, because I heard that this this uh, Act 2 is a little bit longer than Act 1. So what I'm going to do is, every time there's a major scene transition, or a transition to a new area, I think I'm going to try to switch to the next person. That way I'm not like doing like all of one person's story and then all of another's, and I'm trying to like switch between the two like the game intended. I, which I did not do last time, but that was mostly just because I kept forgetting that Vela... I, I, I can believe I cannot believe I couldn't figure out Vela's first puzzle, and then I went on to do all of Shay's. That was really funny. But anyway, we started with Shay, so let's go with Shay. Let him see this brand new world that he's never gotten to see. Son, son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? I'm in shock. Shay. I'm in shock. will be in shock. Uh. Shay, you need to snap out of it. What? Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. Bridge man. Just help me out of this sand, will you? That girl. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. Well, I... Wait, what? Wait, what? I I'm sorry, what? What? So you're not an AI? What? What? I thought y'all were AIs! You're an actual person? What are you? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... She's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. My... Mom? I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or, well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? Well, that's a twist. I wasn't expecting that. So, mom and dad are not AIs. Like, because I had this idea... That they were, like, maybe his actual parents who uploaded their, like, consciousnesses into AIs or computers. But nope, they're just there. But how does that work? I don't fucking know. Considering, um, I don't know. I'm going to see if he can answer some of my questions. So, you're really... Yes, I'm really trying to get back in here. I know it's on fire, but your mother's still inside. That's not what I was asking about. You're not a fucking robot or an AI? Is there anything I can do to help? Maybe you could go exploring and find something or someone that would help us. Good idea. I'll go see what I can find. He's taking this well. Is there anything I can do to help? He is taking this very well. Real seagulls. Not made of yarn. Is that really our ship? 
Why does it look like a, a monster? I, I don't know. I'll figure it out after we get your mother. I wonder how my mom's doing in there. I wonder how my mom's doing in there. I mean, I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. What the fuck? So wait, so he already knew that? We actually in space. Where were we? Wait, what is going on? What is going on? Oh, hey, it's, uh, Carol, it's Carl. What is she doing down here? And what are these fire things going down here? Anyway, we'll, we'll talk to the mayor. Say hi to this guy. See what he says. Greetings. I am Shay of Laruna. Curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. So, he somehow swallowed his whistle? My schematic. This guy really seems to like schematics. This guy really seems to like schematics. So, if this isn't an alien planet, why do you talk so funny? Huh. Must be some sort of performer. A clown, perhaps. Oh, poor guy. So, he swallowed his whistle, which I think he had. Greetings, Your Excellency. Or clown. Greetings, Your Excellency. Okay, so he's no help right now. Uh, what about you? Well, I'll go to the... What's that smell? Wow. This stinky, gross mess would never be allowed on the Bassa Nostra. I love it. Hell yeah. Wow. Let's talk to this lady. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Like not having a hook? Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. Trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Ah, the, uh, thing. You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mod Chakra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Did you say Mog Chathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh. From what? Their loving families? Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. So, yep, that's wait, what a what a way to guilt trip him. But wait, what about before Shade was doing this the rescue mission thing? Because mogchothar has been doing this for years. I'm confused on that Hi, part. Girl. Oh, that's so nice to hear. I love that he has like no context for why. Well, I love how he has no context for why she would for why he would she would say that. Hey, it's one of my hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. Aw. So I carry his corpse around, along with the crochet thing, the spoon. Let's put the spoon on the thing. Maybe we can hook it out of him. What if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Maybe I could fish it out with this. Sir, you are more likely to force the object further down his throat if you attempt that. I recommend a sudden constricting pressure to the abdomen instead. Trust me, choking prevention is my business. Uh, let's see, what about you? What if that whistling sound is that? Do I have the grabber? He seems a little too distracted right now to enjoy it. Alright, never mind. Well, we'll figure out what's going on up here. What is that? What are these blo- Oh, so the cultists aren't here anymore. 
looks like something really hot happened here. Yeah, the death ray. Perhaps some sort of death ray. Perhaps some sort of death clock. I can't believe I spent my whole life in that thing. It looks so small from up here. I guess that's a volcano. They look so different in the ship's cosmopedia. Oh, Shay. What the? That outfit. Operation Dandelion. Are you? Are you? Me? From the future? Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. They have different hair color. Ready for two of us. Yeah. Our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. You didn't grow up on the Bassinostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. It's a relief. Yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean that. Nothing. Oh, that's awkward. So, why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship. But then it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. If I can get this ship fixed. I mean, the death ray kind of fucked it over. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. That's very true. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um, yeah. Why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Bella, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra. Yep. Yep, so it's all connected. How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again... He'll take me back to the previous destination, as long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. I mean, he, that's in, that's an interesting idea. Maybe um, the parents of the people for Operation Dandelion, which you know scatter across the cosmos type thing, designed the ships in such a way so that like they'd run function on different themes. That's neat. Have you seen Laruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship, and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly it's dying. So why do you want to get back there? Dying or not. Home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. I mean, that's fair. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into chrysolation. Oh. Hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows? I might have some other family there. That's always... There you go. Staying positive, Alex. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Oh, come on. Come on. You tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Oh. Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. <gasps> uh, dun, dun, dun. No, I just made that up. No, no, no. I, I had a Merrick, too. He wanted us to rescue him. Or 
capture? Girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, Don, Dan, Operation Dandelion, Dying Planet, uh, Kidnapping Girls. Oh, no, this got very dark very quickly. Oh, I hope that's not where it's, this is going. You need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever. Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it uh, c came to life and flew away. Uh. Probably to Laruna on autopilot. Oh, no. Is that... Is that me from the past? Oh, my. Yeah. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta. Pleasure to meet you. His ship crashed here, too. And now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah, so that's my dad. He's an idiot. Cool. You're all idiots, though, so... So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh... Still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And... Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. So we got a long list. Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional. I'll tell you what. Back in my day, people worked because they enjoyed it. No, they didn't. What was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtain. Oh. What's a superconductive gyro what's it game? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's control. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Perfect. Thank okay. God. I'll see if I can find one lying around. Thank God. So, what kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows how to solder, and who can memorize circuit boards at a glance. Okay, yeah. That's not me. I'll find somebody. Okay, see you later. Okay. Alright, that's all for that. Let's see if we can... F so, I got schematics. I got a dead thingy. What is this? What's this? Oh, interesting. So that's like the notes for Laruna. Looks so familiar. Yeah, this is basically a stitch thing. Oh, this is for um this is for here. This is for whatever this area is. Interesting. Hey, you got this old tiny laser coil and amplifying quartz all hooked up wrong. Want me to No, no, don't touch them. They've come close to overheating several times and they're extremely unstable. I'll I'll get around to fixing that soon. Just leave it to me. All right, all right. That was on purpose. That's how I shot down your ship, Shay. All right. What about here? I'm not sure what this strange diamond-shaped socket is for. I'm not sure either, but I think it's time to go out. So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean, like, in a dream, almost. Well, we'll figure it out, won't we? Oh, ship. It's really gone. It's gone. Hey, where did all the seashells go? It's gone. Nothing down there now but sand. Real seagulls, not made of yarn. Well, what are you doing, Pops? What did you do? Dad? Son? 
At least now we have a plan, right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is what to do when we get there. Right. Exactly. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. Can't you just do a taste test or something? My taste buds aren't that sensitive. Also, I put poison in there. What? Well, it's usually to keep space parasites from chewing on the patch. Force of habit, I guess. Hey, Kalito, not much. Just trying to figure out how to patch a spaceship to go find my spaceship that flew off without me. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. So do I need to like get one of those little papers that shows me how, uh, um, that shows me the ac the acidity or the uh, what what was it? I'll figure it out. How'd you get uh. the calcium carbonate? By grinding up every seashell on the beach, but I fear it's still not enough. There's got to be more calcium carbonate then. Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. All right, so I need to get the pH balance so I can get the glue from him. I don't know what I need the glue yet for besides the thing. Is there any chance of getting the wire f Oh, that's so nice. Where did Mog Chothra go? Yeah, that was weird. Guess he wasn't dead after all. He just up and flew out of here. Probably headed back home with his tail between his legs. Where is Mog Chothra's home? They say he comes from over the plague dam. Must be some mama Mog over there popping out fresh monsters every 14 years or so. Oh, that's... That makes sense why it's the... It's a new Mog Chothra every 14 years. That makes sense. Hey, do you know anything about electronics? Oh, no. I only work with wire to reinforce the cloud shoes I make. A correction. Used to make. So I need to find something to give her for a hook so she'll give me the wire. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Let's see. Can I talk with him real quick? See if he has anything more insightful to say as he's choking to death out of... Greetings, Your Excellency. Okay, no, I cannot. All right, so, well, let's get out of Shell Mound because there's obviously nothing left for me to do here and go into the forest. There we go. We're going to make... I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Tree. Human? Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down? Huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. Okay, buddy, look, I just spent my entire life on a fucking spaceship. You're the first actual tree my uh, Shea has seen. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. Ha. Ah, okay. So, we, we avoided being called murderers. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No. That's a subject that never resonated with me. Oh. Good one. <laughs> yeah. Tree jokes are the best. And that got you chopped down. Oh, I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. 
No, that's not what's making me upset. It's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? A lot of people. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. God damn it. You had one job, Shay. Also, from the. Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can hear you. Also, from out of context, if you ever heard of a, of a point and click adventure protagonist doing something they would sound utterly demented well it's an interesting smell so let's go unfamiliar. let's go check out the snake what the oh wow this is incredible a real giant constrictor my mother never would have allowed this that must have been in case of snake blow horn, you're welcome, Curtis. It sounds like someone's really afraid of hugs. I wonder. Like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? I'm actually curious. You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it. So, is your plan? Oh wait, he's looking. Then eat me. Oh shit, he's actually looking tired. He is not looking enthused. Well, this has been fun, but I, I had better be going soon. Okay. He's looking really tired. Time's over, my scaly friend. I, oh, I hope you're not bending my friend Spoon. Spoon, no. I remember reading on the ship's cosmopedia that snakes hate loud noises. It's okay. I knocked it out. I don't want to have to resort. Sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. Oh, oh no, that's funny. Uh, oh. You better let go. It's almost... Around, Mr. Huggy. It's almost... I think it won't be much longer now. I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. Uh, poor guy. Poor guy. Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. I, I want to leave him here where someone might step on him. I kidnapped the snake. What the hell? Well, I can go this way now. I don't want to deal with Will Wheaton right now. Oh, great sign placement, guys. Where's the warning about the cliff? At the bottom? Bye! <laughs> that would have been funny. Um... Go! Funeral! So there's not there's literally nothing over here. I used to hack my ship's navigation system. Seem like such a good don't see anything there I want to eat. Alright, alright, fine, let's go talk to Curtis. Who's gonna look really fucking weird. Wow, he runs. There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. Absolutely. Man, we are just collecting things left, right, and center. Oh, wait. Maybe if I show that flyer to um, people, that'll be interesting. Let's see how that goes. Well, let's go talk to Curtis. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? My mom knit it for me. In space. 
Right. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. Wait, are you a metal worker now, Curtis? What are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know, it was getting all trendy. The tree started talking, and there was no money in it, so I got into metal. It has been like 20 minutes, 30 tops since you were ta since you were a, since you were a carpenter. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for like ever, but my kit just arrived today, so I've been like hardcore about six hours. Okay, six hours. Fine. That's longer than I thought. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first... <sighs> oh, it's cute! ...collectible die-cast miniature. Oh. That's so cute. Cute? Hmm. Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard, but... It How?! More like a kitten reading a book. Oh, we got the wrong one. Did I order the wrong mold? It's okay. So I guess I can get him another mold. Do you order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like I'm in the cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. God damn it. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but this stupid cat? I don't know if I'm ever going to get it. What are you talking about? That's cute. I know plenty of people who would buy that. In real life, at least. What is that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm. Huh. Not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Marilla. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Not really. For my stools. Not really. Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. All right, well, I'm going to... What do you got? I found this in your mailbox. Vela's family must have left that when they came marching through here. I wonder what they're still doing upstairs. Wait, they're upstairs right now? Wait, they're upstairs right now? The whole family. Hey, that snake out in the forest, is he yours? Hey, I'm not responsible for that thing. Not mine. Uh, okay. Okay, um... Hey, do you think you could use your metal works there to make me one of these? Man, that is one cool-looking candle holder. I'd love to make you one, but I work with molds, not diagrams. Sorry. So I gotta find a means to turn that into a mold. Here's a corpse. Hey, can you fix tiny robots? No, but I could make you a new one if I had the mold. Also, it would be kind of on the statue end of the robot spectrum. I'm glad he has more things to talk about. This button only works on grabbing Gary. I wonder where... Need anything to scoop out hot molten steel? Nope, I just pour it right into the mold, thanks. Sir, are you trying to get rid of me? No. Yes. Hey, if I gave you a crochet hook, could you make something interesting out of it? No, I never learned how to crochet. But maybe if this whole die-cast figurine thing doesn't work out. Who knows? Uh... It's small, but not small enough for his little cats to wear. Your paintings are all ripped up. Yeah, that was a different me who did that. I'm much more calm now that I'm working with metal. Oh, Will Wheaton. You're a dork. Looks like your axe is missing. I don't use axes anymore. Now I make the axes. Uh, well, I mean, I will once I get the mold. Man. Well, let's go check out what's going on up here. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh, yeah. I lost the sun somehow. Yeah, me too. Aw, oh, that may be... Oh, that's sad. Oh, apparently, Shell Bella's family are up here, so... Let's go check out Mariloft. 
Phew. Now that was a ladder. Whoa. Check out these crazy clouds. Okay, for there, you're doing great. You built the new ladder. You got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, for there, stop wasting time. I, uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know I, I... No, 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 don't cry, whatever you do. I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Uh, by the way, I think Brother Lightbeard is voiced by Jack Black, now that I think about it, that I hear his voice again. Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See, nothing to be afraid of. Oh, too heavy. Wait a second. What's happening? Don, he looked so light. Uh, help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <sighs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? So... How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. Which means there's something special about your cloud. Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. God damn it, you're a lazy son of a bitch. Why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost like a new crust, you know? And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you can stand on? Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. I, I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. Okay, see you later. Fucking hippie. How does that big cloud stay afloat? Uh, let's see. Okay. Psst. There. Hello? Can you rescue harm me now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Can you untie that bow on harm me's cloud? Why would I do that? because it's in the way of us saving him. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah. The big old nasty-looking kind. Thanks. I'm sure it looks harder than it is. Let's give it a shot. I'll try. Try to find a loose section. I'll give it a shot. Now it's even more naughty. Damn it. Um, what does it look like now? Well, uh... What like the... A whole new terrible knot. How did you do that, Fether? Okay, how do I, like... Okay, so I get off. He rises back up. Let's go talk to Fether again. I'll deal with Lightbeard later. What's wrong, big guy? Brother Lightbeard needs my help. But I have failed him. Also, I don't like being called big. Hi, I'm Shay. What's your name? They used to call me Fether, but after this day, they will only call me coward. Or maybe if I'm lucky, coward. Oh. I think I <laughs> Sorry. I think I sequence broke a little bit, because I don't think I was supposed to talk to Brother Lightbeard until I talked with him. Who's Brother Lightbeard? Our benevolent leader who was stranded on his high cloud when a strange girl broke his ladder. 
Tell me more about this strange girl. <coughs> so light, but I sensed a heaviness in her heart. Sure enough, when she got on the ladder, it broke. I think Harmony's teachings really could have helped her. I mean, she was trying to kill a god. Any idea why we're able to walk on these clouds? Because the words of Harmony Lightbeard make us light. Any idea where I can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Oh, I'm sure we don't have one of those. Harmony hates anything heavy. Well, see you later. Don't give up. <sighs> I w he probably wishes he could. Um... You seen this girl? That's her! That's the strange girl who broke the ladder! I hate to say this about anyone, but she must have been really heavy. Calling her fat? She was like a twig. Snack. Nah, I don't think that would wake up Mr. Huggy. Are you any good with complex engineering schematics? No, I'm not good with anything. Oh, poor for their corpse. I bet that little guy would really cheer him up if he weren't, you know, dead. Oh, maybe I can fix him. Baby? He's a little big for this suit. Hey, did you just call me heavy? No, I, I just... Just men in the shoulders. Big in the shoulders. Oh, that is true. I have to wear nest tunics two sizes bigger than I actually am. Why? Why do you need that? Spoon. <laughs> Can you think of any way to help this guy, Spoon? Only by making sure he started his day with a nutritious breakfast, sir. Well, that didn't suck. Crochet. Hey, maybe a hook would help. I've already hooked my ladder onto its cloud. I'm just afraid to climb it. Well, you're useless. Bye, Father.